the Trinity Lavra of St. Sergius is the most important Russian monastery and the spiritual center of the Russian Orthodox Church. The monastery is situated in the town of Sergiyev Posad, about 70 kilometers to the northeast from Moscow by the road leading to Yaroslavl, and currently is home to over 300 monks. History 14th century The monastery was founded in 1345 by one of the most venerated Russian saints, Sergius of Radonez, who built a wooden church in honor of the Holy Trinity on Makovitz Hill. Early development of the monastic community is well documented in contemporary lives of Sergius and his disciples. In 1355, Sergius introduced a charter which required the construction of auxiliary buildings, such as refectory, kitchen, and bakery. This charter was a model for Sergius and numerous followers who founded more than 400 cloisters all over Russia, including the celebrated Solovetsky, Kirillov, and Simonov monasteries. Saint Sergius supported Dmitry Donskoy in his struggle against the Tatars and sent two of his monks, Perisvet and Osliabaya, to participate in the Battle of Kulikufo. At the outbreak of the battle, Perisvet died in a single combat against a Tata Bogata. The monastery was devastated by fire when a Tata unit raided the area in 1408. 15th Century Street Sergius was declared patron saint of the Russian state in 1422. The same year the first stone cathedral was built by a team of Serbian monks who had found refuge in the monastery after the Battle of Kosovo. The relics of Saint Sergius still may be seen in this cathedral, dedicated to the Holy Trinity. The greatest icon painters of medieval Russia, Andrei Rubel and Daniel Cuny, were summoned to decorate the cathedral with frescoes. Traditionally, Muscovite royals were baptized in this cathedral and held thanksgiving services here. In 1476, Ivan III invited several Scovian masters to build the Church of the Holy Spirit. This graceful structure is one of the few remaining examples of a Russian church topped with a bell tower. The interior contains the earliest specimens of the use of glazed tiles for decoration. In the early 16th century, Vasily III added the Nikon Annex and the Serapian tent where several of Sergius' a disciples were interred. 16th century It took 26 years to construct the Six-Pillared Assumption Cathedral, which was commissioned by Ivan the Terrible in 1559. The cathedral is much larger than its model and namesake in the Moscow Kremlin. The magnificent iconostasis of the 16th-18th centuries features Simon Ushakov's masterpiece, the Icon of Last Supper. Interior walls were painted with violet and blue frescoes by a team of Yaroslavl masters in 1684. The vault contains burials of Boris Godunov, his family and several 20th-century patriarchs. As the monastery grew into one of the wealthiest landowners in Russia, the woods where it had stood were cut over and a village sprang up near the monastery walls. It gradually developed into the modern town of Sergiyev Posad. The cloister itself was a notable center of chronicle writing and icon painting, just opposite the monastery walls street. Paraskeva's convent was established among whose buildings street. Paraskeva's Church, Introduction Church, and a 17th-century chapel over St. Paraskeva's well are still visible. 17th century and 1550s, a wooden palisade surrounding the cloister was replaced with 1.5 kilometers long stone walls, featuring 12 towers, which helped the monastery to withstand a celebrated 16-month Polish-Lithuanian siege in 1608-1610. A shell hole in the cathedral gates is preserved as a reminder of Vladislav IV's abortive siege in 1618. By the end of the 17th century, when young Peter I twice found refuge within the monastery from his enemies, numerous buildings had been added. These include a small Baroque palace of the patriarchs, noted for its luxurious interiors, and a royal palace with its facades painted in checkerboard design. The refectory of St. 
Sergius, covering 510 square meters and also painted in dazzling checkerboard design, used to be the largest hall in Russia. The five-domed Church of John the Baptist's Nativity was commissioned by the Stroganovs and built over one of the gates. Other 17th-century structures include the monk's cells, a hospital topped with a tented church, and a chapel built over a holy well discovered in 1644. 18th and 19th centuries in 1744, Empress Elizabeth conferred on the cloister the dignity of the Lavra. The Metropolitan of Moscow was henceforth also the Archimandrite of the Lavra. Elizabeth particularly favoured the Trinity and annually proceeded afoot from Moscow to the cloister. Her secret spouse Alexei Razumovsky accompanied her on such journeys and commissioned a Baroque church to the Virgin of Smolensk the last major shrine to be erected in the Lavra. Another pledge of Elizabeth's affection for the monastery is a white and blue Baroque bell tower, which, at 88 meters, was one of the tallest structures built in Russia up to that date. Its architects were Ivan Michurin and Dmitry Utsomsky. Throughout the 19th century, the Lavra maintained its status as the richest Russian monastery. A seminary founded in 1742 was replaced by an ecclesiastical academy in 1814. The monastery boasted a supreme collection of manuscripts and books. Medieval collections of the Lavra Sacristy attracted thousands of visitors. In Sergeyev Passad, the monastery maintained several sketties, one of which is a place of burial for the conservative philosophers Konstantin Leontiev and Vasily Rozanov. 20th century after the Russian Revolution of 1917, the Soviet government closed the Lavra in 1920. Its buildings were assigned to different civic institutions or declared museums. In 1930, monastery bells, including the Tsar Bell of 65 tons, were destroyed. Pavel Florensky and his followers could hardly prevent the authorities from stealing and selling the sacristy collection but overall many valuables were lost or transferred to other collections. In 1945, following Joseph Stalin's temporary tolerance of the church during World War II, the Lavra was returned to the Russian Orthodox Church. On April 16, 1946, divine service was renewed at the Assumption Cathedral. The Lavra continued as the seat of the Moscow Patriarchate until 1983, when the Patriarch was allowed to settle at the Dani Lobe Monastery in Moscow. After that, the monastery continued as a prime center of religious education. Important restoration works were conducted in the 1960s and 1970s. In 1993, the Trinity Lavra was inscribed on the UN World Heritage List. The Lavra has a number of representative churches in its vicinity and throughout Russia. Notable burials. Innocent of Alaska. Patriarch Alexei of Russia. Tsar Boris Godunov and family. Yuri Trubetskoy. Dmitry Trubetskoy.